I just did it up. Let me see. Today I'm going to be looking at the Nikon Z6. Um, I'm going to be going around doing a bit of a POV and just kind of getting a feel for this this camera. Now I did reach out to Nikon. Um, I gave them a proposal and said I'd love to try out one of their cameras. I will be getting into that into a later video. So maybe subscribe, hit the notification bell to so get notified when I talk about that. But let's go and see what this guy can do. Okay, so I'm going to start the POV down towards Mayfair area. I'm going to do a couple of shots around here, maybe try and find some cars that are, are hidden up and try and go down some back alleys and stuff like that. And then I'm going to head into the centre. Um, I always find I start in the centre and then very often miss some of the surrounding areas. So I'm going to start here in Mayfair and there is, oh, look at that. That is a beauty. This is a car just up here, I'll try and get a shot of it. But it did rain last night, which is also very helpful um, for reflections and stuff like that, which will look really sick. Let's have a look. What should we do this at? Okay, this is the first time shooting with the Nikon, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a good test to see how it, how it goes and how it works out. Um, I do have to return it. It is only a lone camera, but it gives me an idea of what, you know, what it can do. Um, it's about as well. I'm trying to get used to the ergonomics as well because it's a bit different to what I'm used to. Mm, don't like that angle. Let's go to the front. Uh, that's quite nice. And one like this. Maybe one dead on. Quite like that reflection. And we'll go and get a detailed shot of the front wheels like that. That's quite nice. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, there's a lighter car, like car coming the other way now, hopefully. I think that's usable. I think that's very usable. Bosh, done. Thank you very much. Okay, so yeah, like you can see on the screen, I wanted that lighter color car to give it that contrasting look between obviously the darker color car and the lighter one. Um, and that's what you're ideally looking for when you're doing longer exposures like that. Um, so I'm gonna walk down towards Mayfair and hopefully get some more stuff and then head towards Central and get some panning shots as well. So if you are ever in the Mayfair area, come down to the Conuit, I think that's how it's right, C-O-N-N-A-U-G-H-T, because it has this um, kind of like, I don't know what you want to call it, thing, water feature in front of it, and it gives a really good reflection. Um, there is a Lamborghini down there, so let's see if I can get a nice reflection of it. Um, and it also does this as well, which Looks pretty cool if you have someone walking across the street because sometimes the wind blows it that way and you get this really cool misty shot. But let's see if we can get a shot of this Lambo. I if you can see that. I don't really like that, to be honest with you. Um, I don't like the shot. So I'm going to try and get it slightly different. And I want to put something in front of the foreground so it gives some, like, some depth. Because just like like that doesn't really work um, I'm not a huge fan of Lambos to be honest with you I mean they're okay but I'm not a massive fan mm, it looks alright but it's not it's not oh it's better this side is perfect okay so I'm using this bush here and the, like the plant pot as a bit of depth I'm focusing like that I got an ISO 100 f4 at 100th of a second. Now I'm keeping it at f4 purely because that is as low as the f-stop goes on this lens that they've provided me. But it's fine. That's a dope shot. I like that. Um, maybe we can come down here and come away from it a little bit and do the same idea again. We've got some lights here. Maybe we could put some some lights in there. Maybe if we go, oh, there we go, that'll do. That works good. I know you can't really see that, but you'll see it on the screen now. That front quarter looks good. Okay. Hey dude, you're right. 
Is it yours? Yeah, right. uh, I just took some photos. Did you want me to send them to you? If you can, please. Yeah, yeah it would course. be nice. Yeah. Do you have an email address? Uh, yes. Cheers, boss. I'll send them over to you, alright? You. Have a good day. Okay, I'm going to move down towards uh, Mayfair a bit more now. Um, and see if I can get some portrait shots of people as well. Maybe ask them if they want me to take some photos. Um, but that dude, as you just saw, was happy for me to take some photos of the inside and stuff and I'll send them over to him. Um, if you ever do take pictures of cars and you do see the owners, make sure you just ask them if you want them, you know, if you want to, if they want the photos. So between like Mayfair area and Bond Street area as well, and going towards like Piccadilly and Regent Street, there's this really nice, well, there's a couple of few nice through roads which look really, really good. Um, I like especially this kind of like archway. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this dude to leave um, and then hopefully try and get someone as they go past the, the archway. Um, so as they walk along the street, you can kind of catch them on the other side of the archway. Okay, so now I'm literally just going to wait for someone to walk past, and as they walk past, hopefully get them. They're walking too slow. So I'm going to shoot this at two, 250th of a second, F4 ISO 800, and then I've got it at 70 millimeter as well. So ideally, I want just one person because then otherwise if you've got multiple people it kind of takes up the frame and doesn't look as nice and as neat so lady on the other side with the bike that looks quite nice that's on the screen um, and then hopefully come on I just want one person to walk past here on this side of the road maybe a car I don't know if that'll look good or a cab have a look at that in a minute just wait for these people Okay, I think that's as good as we're going to get with that dude. Okay, I quite like that. It's on the screen, you can see it. I like the way that the uh, the archway causes this frame, um, which is what I've talked about before in previous POVs. Um, if you haven't watched my other POVs, head over to the channel and have a look, because I've got tons of POVs on there. Um, okay, now we're on Bond Street, um, heading up that way, and then maybe to Piccadilly in that area and then finish off around that area, I think. Um, hopefully get some reflection shots and stuff like that. And maybe get some photos of people taking photos and that type of stuff. Hey girls, are you okay? Sorry, can I ask a question? Would you be able to go exactly where you just were? Because there's a really nice reflection shot. I'll send it to you, you can have it. Just because it looks nice, because you can actually see the Dior sign as well. Okay. Okay. Once I've once I've yeah, once nah, I've edited it up. Let me see. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. No worries. Maybe. And if you want anything, just reach out. Yeah. You know. Yeah, have a good day. So See you later, guys. Okay. I mean, ideally, I would have probably an 85 mil for that because I don't. Uh, it looks alright. I mean, she's in focus and everything. Um, I think once I crop that in, give it an edit, I think that'll uh, that'll turn out alright. Um, but ideally, for that shot with the reflection, I'd probably be going for an 85 mil at that distance. I was at 70 mil. Um, you could see on the screen. It looks pretty good. Um, and then hopefully um, we'll uh, get some more like that. But you know, if you see an opportunity and you don't ask, well then you're never gonna get the shot, are you? So it's best just to, to you know, ask away and go from there. Um, you know what, I'm gonna try and get a reflection shot from the taxi. I'll take you over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You all right? Yeah, man, how are you? Not bad. Not Been busy? Good. Well, I've very, you're in a very famous here. spot. I, I've been here and I've been down there on over two hours. No joke. Nothing? Nothing. Fuck, man. I mean, you can take me down the road if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, man. Thank you. Okay, one shot that I do like getting is I like getting photos of people getting photos. So I'm going to try and get, yeah, there's this girl here getting photos. I like 
that. So in the last POV that I did, um, I got the, the two people to walk across the street here with that insane light coming through, which was literally just peering over that building down the end. Um, it doesn't quite look as spectacular now, but it still looked quite cool. Can I ask you a favor? Would you be able to walk across the street for a photo? Uh, as long as I as long as I send it to you. Yeah, that's fine. Would you be right with that? So I just want you to walk literally from here across. Yeah, straight in the middle. Please give me a sec. Just normal pace. Yeah. Go for it. Yep. Perfect. But yeah, that's fine. If I grab your email, I'll send it to you after you Follow, follow and I'll message you before I email you. Have a good day. Right, Cheers. Cheers. That one actually turned out pretty good as you can see on the screen. That middle step, ah, yes. Looks absolutely insane. So if we could stand on the, on the side here and get some shots, which I think would look pretty sick. So uh, maybe I can, uh, I can maybe use this as like maybe a leading line. Nah, it's a bit samey. I mean, sometimes I like plain shots, but I don't know about that. We'll see how that turns out. I mean, if it's on the screen, it looks okay. Then uh, it looks okay, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm gonna head down towards Piccadilly, see if I can find some, uh, some reflection shots. But I will say actually, one thing about the Nikon Z6 that I do really like is the grip i like i like how it feels in the hands some of the ergonomics um in terms of like where the buttons are placed it can feel a little bit fiddly um but overall i quite i do quite like the hold on it and it's quite good to be fair i haven't tested it completely as today is the first day shooting with it but so far i really like it <laughs> uh, talk about festive spirit off Piccadilly and I want to try and get like a panning shot of a taxi kind of in between this as a frame maybe um, there's one coming up now I don't know how it's gonna work but we're gonna give it a go okay and just follow it along did that work out I think it actually did oh that's all right I quite like that I mean, it could be better. I'm going to try and get another panning shot somewhere else. He's going past. I'm going to try and get him on a panning shot. Oh, did I get any of those? It was a bit unstable, actually, the camera. But I think that was more my hands shaking around because it's cold. Um, uh, did I get any of those? No. Wow. Okay, there's some more cyclists, thankfully. Let's have a look at those ones. Okay, that one worked. Oh, nice. Okay, that one looks sick. Um, this area is really nice at night when all of the Christmas lights are on. Um, you know, you've got people out here taking photos, especially if you've got like an 85 mil, that compression. Oh, it's just so nice. I took some the other night, um, which turned out pretty cool. They're over on my Instagram. I'm gonna be finishing, I'm gonna head over towards the London line now, um, but that sunset's quite cool, so I'm gonna try and get it. It's quite a nice sunset to be fair. It's a very bland shot, but it looks so cool. There's a bit of a reflection shot down here that I'm gonna try and get. Hey, that works. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, they all look really sick actually. Okay, I've come down onto South Bank now, um, and this is a quite a well-known reflection. I've done it before, but I'm gonna get it again. like that okay i'm gonna get a couple of photos down this way on south walk on south bank but um i don't want to push it too into the evening because i want to do some night photography with this actually um this week again so i don't want to like cross over between the two so i think this is actually a good segue to uh to break and say yeah uh, create more stress less and i'll see you in the next video. Peace.